Hello Pisces, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the third week in July. This reading is for all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the third week in July. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and rising sign videos cross watchers are welcome as well if you like my energy my vibe you feel like i'm the reader for you and you would like to show some support subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well as a thumbs up image to help the video circulate if you like my energy my vibe you feel like i'm the reader for you or I may have already said that. Yeah, I did. If you need a personal reading. If you need a personal reading. The link to the email address is in the description box. I have one more slot. For a free reading for the month of July. In order to be considered. For that reading, you have to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section. Oh, okay. Let's see. These cards, just, they literally leaped out of the deck. <laughs> so let's get started. Two of Cups. The Strength card, Leo's energy is here. The Nine of Pentacles. What else going on? What is the energy for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Five of Pentacles? Okay. All right. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Let's get two more. Oh. Your cards are just coming out. That's too many. Two more cards. This one. The King of Pentacles. One more. Alright, there we go. And the Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Here we go with this decision again. <laughs> You have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You are, and this could be you or your partner, but let's see where this is going. You have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're giving at this time, could be giving of your energy, giving of your finances, you could be trying to figure out how to balance out your finances. You, you, you could be, you could be paying off debt and also borrowing money for a new home or, or you're thinking about it. This could be you and your partner looking for a new home. Um, starting off on a new path, a new journey together. I'm just seeing giving, giving of yourself. You you also, you may need to give of yourself. You and your partner could um, 
possibly be in a new phase of your union, feeling more compassionate towards one another, forgiveness. You could have overcome a lot of obstacles in your union as well. And I feel like now things also with the Six of Pentacles, things could be balancing out. Like you figured out how to balance out your union. You figured out how to tame the beast in your partner. With that strength card, could be a Leo. with this nine of pentacles. You may be enjoying the fruit of your labor at this time. Doing things for yourself that you like. Um, doing like self care, thinking about starting um, your own business. I feel like you're thinking about you're you're working on you're you're working on your finances. You're trying to increase your finances. And as we go on to clarify, we will find out why. Again, it's the same energy like that it's been for the last month, you need you may need to walk away from something in order for things to start moving faster for you. You may need to walk away from people, places, and things that hold you back or keep you from um, what it is that you really want to do. I'm seeing you may need to walk away from something in order for things to start moving and it's it's come up again with this ten of swords you need to put an end to something if there will be disappointment um someone will feel um betrayed but at the end of the day you have to put an end to something in order for something new to begin and again this may require you have something to do with a move. Moving, traveling, something of that nature. And I feel like Spirit is saying, stop thinking about it. And it may be time for you to do it. Again, I'm seeing a new home, a new car. Something new coming in that will bring stability, balance, um financial security in your life if this is your partner this will bring a higher level of commitment into your relationship however there is a decision to make there's a decision And once you make this decision, you have to take the next steps in order for your dreams to come true. Again, some of you may be moving. I'm seeing a move. It could be to another state, to another country, maybe to another county. But there is a move here. Okay, so let's clarify. I'm going to be using the Gilded Royale Tarot deck to clarify. Let's see what else is going on with my Pisces. What is going on with the Pisces? I see you at the bottom of the deck. Things are stuck for you. You may need to withdraw your energy in order for um, to get clarity. Could be done with a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, and a 
So there's some type of uncertainty pertaining to balancing out your finances, the stability within your finances. There's some type of uncertain energy around your finances. I feel like there's a blockage. There's a blockage. And I feel like with this world card, could be dealing with a fixed sign as well. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, um, a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. But in order to balance out your finances, you may need to travel or like go to a new place or something like that. And that's what I'm saying. Something connected with your finances and you and some type of move or traveling is um you're trying to gain clarity about and that's why this hierophant is here you're 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 trying to get clarity you may be asking for advice if not you're just like trying to listen to your in, your intuition because you're manifesting something, Virgo, Gemini energy. And in manifestation, we have to wait for clarity for things to move. But right now, with the death card in a reverse, it may, it may not be the right time to put an end to something. It's near though. The end is near. But you have to wait. And this is you. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Yeah, see, you're waiting. You you want this to happen quickly. You want this new beginning to happen quickly. But with the justice card in order for things to, to be balanced for you. In order for things to be balanced for you with this um, page of swords, there's going to be a delay. You may have to take your time before you walk away from something because if you move too soon, it's going to create a hardship, a financial hardship, which will result in toxicity. Because we all know if our money isn't right, our energy isn't right. We're not balanced. You see, and here it is. Exactly what I just said. You're trying to figure out, again, you could be going into a new home. Moving, getting a new car, something pertaining to something new that's tangible and right now spirit is saying is the end is near it's near but you're still giving to too many people and too many things so you have to wait take your time but keep work keep working on your finances keep stacking the dough stacking the bag as they like to say So that when you do make this move, you have stability. Stability within your home as well as your finances. And you won't have to worry about anything coming back to bite you in the ass. You won't have to worry about doing something over with the judgment card if you take your time. If you take your time, then with the two of swords and... The reverse, there won't be any blockages. There will not be any restrictions. You will be complete. Your family will be complete. You will be in your new home. 
with your family and you will be happy. And what is the out the outcome? That hermit card, Virgo energy. Take your time. Again, <coughs> you have the Queen of Wands in a reverse. It's not time to uh, take action to to make that move yet. So it's been coming out for a little while. See the Fool card in a reverse. Aquarius Aries energy. It's not time. The Knight of Swords in a reverse. All of these, these two last two cards, last three cards are movement cards, and they're all in a reverse. It's going to require you to have strength and courage to tame yourself. But Spirit is saying, focus on your money so that when you do go forth for what you want, you'll, you'll be able to have control of it, nurture it so that it can grow, and you can hold on to what you have as well. You won't lose anything. I'm not even going to pull any more cards, clarification cards, or anything. Well, yes, I am. I will from this deck. Because I feel like this this was more so towards your finances. A financial situation. Divine timing. But if you need a personal love reading, again, check the um, link to the email address in the description box. Yeah, see, you may want to trade places with someone. You're, you you want to trade something. And with this falseness card, be still. Don't move yet. Because cats are always on the move. How I'm looking at this this photo, cats and or animal house, house animals are always on the move. The spirit is saying, don't be, don't move too fast. Because you want something of quality. You want quality. So you have to stick to the plan. You have to be faithful to the plan. Okay? in order to give birth to something new. So I'm going to leave it at that, Pisces. This is your reading for the third week in July. Comment below. Let me know. If this is your story, share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Excuse the noise in the background because I know some of you are going to say something about the audio. Um, I'm going to take care of that now. But be safe. I will see you next time. Bye.